If you're planning on getting a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science from WGU, then stick with me. I've got some shortcuts to help you get that degree faster and for less money. My name is Bettina Glaser, and I'm a college advisor with Study.com. Today, we're going to take a look at WGU's BS in Computer Science degree. I've got the full degree plan that I'll walk through with you course by course and let you know how to hack in some time-saving strategies. And stick around to the end, and I'll explain how you can save over $5,000 on this degree. This is a great degree if you're interested in a career in computer science. Working as a software developer, business intelligence analyst, or web developer are just a few options that you could pursue. Ready to jump in? Let's go. You can see that I've grouped these courses by degree requirements and WGU courses. We split them into categories like Gen Eds, Computer Science, Software, and more to let you know which courses count for which part of the degree program requirements. You also can see quite a few Study.com courses listed next to WGUs. Over 200 Study.com courses are approved for college credit transfer. The courses listed here have been approved by WGU for the specific requirements, but these aren't the only ones you can use. The degree map linked in the description below has alternatives if there are any others to choose from. I'll explain why I put each one in its slot as we go. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed, don't worry, you're not alone, but it's going to be okay because this is your one-stop shop for this degree. So feel free to pause this video, open the degree plan link in the description below, save a copy and edit it as we go throughout each of the requirements. That way you'll be able to save your preferred course options and know that they work just right for you. And if you can't do it right now, no worries. Just be sure to make yourself a note for later. Believe me, your future self will thank you. Let's start off with your gen eds. First up is health, fitness, and wellness. Study.com's Health 101 is what I recommend, but there's also Nutrition 101 you could take as well. I recommend Health 101 as it covers more of a wider variety of topics, including nutrition, while Nutrition 101 is a little bit more specific. So you may wanna go with Health 101 for this one, as it does kind of give a general overview to help you get this requirement passed. Next up is Applied Probability and Statistics. With Study.com, you have two equivalent course options. I recommend taking Statistics 101 for this one, especially if you don't have prior knowledge or experience with this topic. Now, if you do feel confident in statistics and are interested in learning more advanced concepts specifically for business, then I'd recommend checking out Business 212. One tip for taking Statistics 101 on Study.com is that you'll be able to use several stat tables during your final exam. There's a Z-scores in Standard Normal Curves Area 1, a T-distribution table, and one on binomial properties. What's great about this is that you can print all of these out and have them ready for test day. So you don't have to worry too much about memorizing huge sets of data. Instead, focus on which equations and formulas apply for which problems. This will be critical come test day. Moving down, we come to Calculus 1. Study.com's Math 104 will satisfy this requirement. This course is on the longer side. When it comes to longer courses, I do recommend taking a placement test whenever possible. What's great about these is that they are risk-free. Just answer what you know and be honest with what you don't. That way you don't accidentally test out of material that you need to know and can also bypass what you already know. It's a win-win. The next two lines are also math classes. For Discrete Mathematics 1, Math 108 is a great choice. You'll take Discrete Mathematics 2 with WGU. Sometimes there isn't a course equivalent for Study.com or WGU specifically requires you to take the course with them. For Introduction to Communications, you have a few different options to take with Study.com. First is Communications 101. This is a great course to take to move through quickly with easy to handle projects and just over 100 lesson quizzes to complete. Business 113 and 324 are also options here. So if public speaking isn't your thing, or you find that you might want to work in a business environment one day, then be sure to check out these business course options. Moving down, we now have Composition, Successful Self-Expression. You have a few different study.com options to choose from. You can select English 104, 204, 105, 205, or 305. 
I suggest English 104. Most students that I've talked with say that this is the slightly easier option of the options given, but I would still encourage you to take a look at all courses, assignments, and see which one best fits your preferences. Next up is American politics. Study.com's Political Science 102 is a great match here. This course is on the longer side, but what's great is, is that it has no extra assignments. With this longer course, it would be a good idea to take that placement test too. The next line is ethics and technology. You'll take this course with WGU. You have a few options for the natural science lab requirement. I recommend taking biology 101L. This is the lowest level course, so you'll be able to move through this a lot faster. But be sure to check out all your options and see if there's any courses that would fit your interests here and preferences. This course does require a virtual lab. Don't be too intimidated though. I have some tips to help you succeed. First, make sure you prepare before each lab. Be sure to review notes, any instructions, and of course, jot down any unclear ideas, concepts, or questions before you get to that lab. Tip number two, during the lab, be sure to take notes as you complete each activity. These notes will help you for assignments or lab reports that come later. These also include taking screenshots or even making quick sketches. And your final tip is reach out when you need help. Don't hesitate to ask questions if a lab doesn't make sense to you, you're confused on certain aspects, or you're having technical issues. Your final Gen Ed course requirement is Introduction to Systems Thinking and Application. You'll take this one with WGU. And that's the end of your Gen Eds. One section down. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next core computer science. The first two lines are Introduction to Computer Science and Advanced AI and ML. You'll take both of these courses at WGU. Moving down, we have Computer Architecture. Study.com's Computer Science 306 is a great substitute for this course requirement. This is an upper level course that does contain two assignments, so this one may take you a little bit longer to work through. My advice would be to save a course like this when life allows you a little bit more time toward that schoolwork, or at least when you're not feeling so overwhelmed. So do yourself a favor and plan ahead if you can, and your future self will definitely thank you. Next up is Data Structures and Algorithms 1. You can take Computer Science 201 to fulfill this requirement. The next three lines are courses you'll take at WGU, Data Structures and Algorithms 2, Practical Applications of Prompt, and Operating Systems for Computer Scientists. For Introduction to AI for Computer Scientists, we have Computer Science 311. Now, this is an upper level course with two assignments. I recommend taking your time and getting familiar with your material. That'll cut down time when it comes time for assignments and your final exam. You'll take the final two computer science core courses with WGU. Moving down, we have data management. This section has two courses and both courses can be taken with study.com. For data management foundations, you can take either Computer Science 107 or Analytics 103. While both of these courses are valuable, 107 is the better option here as it provides more of a foundational aspect that you'll need for this degree. The second required course is Data Management Applications and Study.com's Computer Science 204 is a great fit. The next core is Secure Systems Analysis and Design. There's only one course for this section, Fundamentals of Information Security. You've got two options here for this one. I put Computer Science 110 as it only has 87 lessons and no extra assignments. If you do have some background in cybersecurity, you can also take Computer Science 202. This course is a little bit longer, so with Computer Science 110, you will move a lot faster. Operating Systems also just has one course, Linux Foundations. You'll take this at WGU. Moving down, you'll see the software courses. This core is made up of six courses and you'll take all of them at WGU. Next up is Web Development. Web Development Foundations is the only class here and you'll take it at WGU. Scripting and Programming also just has one requirement here, Scripting and Programming Foundations. You'll have three options here. Your options are Computer Science 109, 112, and 115. I put Course 109 here because it's more of a general overview of computer science. This would be a great starting point if you don't have that much experience or background knowledge in it yet. 
But if you do feel confident and want to take a closer look at programming in C++ and Java, then check out those other courses. Now we come to the full stack engineering core. Only one course here and it's version control. You'll take this at WGU. Next is the Information Technology Management Core. You'll only have one requirement here, which is software engineering. Study.com's Computer Science 307 is a great match for this one. In this class, you'll explore everything from process models and agile development to requirements modeling, software design, and even user interface design. Along the way, you'll be able to tackle development and testing, master verification and validation, and discover strategies for software reuse. Network and Security Foundations makes up the Network and Security Core. You can take Study.com's Computer Science 108 for this requirement. You'll learn all the basics here, how networks are structured, what makes them tick, and how to keep networks running smoothly and securely. The Business of IT is the final section here. Just one course here though, Business of IT Applications. You'll take this with WGU. And there you go. I know that was a lot of information, but now you know exactly what it takes to earn a bachelor's degree in computer science from Western Governors University and study.com. You can earn a total of 55 credits on study.com for this degree. That's across 17 classes. Just remember to budget your time and use the tips that I described for each of these courses. On study.com, you can do two courses per month for the price of $235. If you wanna do more courses, you can pay a little more. So if you really wanna speed on through, it's worth it to pay more. But if you take just two a month, those 17 courses will take you about nine months to complete. That's $2,115 that you'll be paying to study.com. At WGU, at the same pace, you'd have to pay for two semesters. You can't pay month to month, so that would be $7,910 that you'd be spending. So even if you don't do more than two courses per month, you'll still be saving $5,795. That's a significant amount of savings, especially when you're trying to avoid a mountain of student debt. Remember though, you can go faster. It's $70 on study.com to take an additional exam each month. If you could do three or even four courses, you'll be saving another $500 or $600. But I do think that two courses is the much more manageable pace as what I've heard with many of the students that I've worked with. If you're considering computer science as a career field, this degree is a fantastic pathway towards your goals and dreams. With WGU and Study.com's affordable pricing and flexible course scheduling, this is by far one of the fastest and cheapest ways to earn a bachelor's degree in computer science from a reputable university. Just be sure to grab those transcripts with any prior college experience and fill in the rest with WGU and Study.com. WGU advisors are happy to help you plot out your degree map, and study.com advisors are standing by waiting to help you select courses that are specific to your interests and career goals. Reach out whenever you need help, and be sure to start planning as soon as you can, because that's one day closer towards your goals and where you want to be. Thanks for watching. And if you're still not 100% sure about computer science or WGU, be sure to check out other videos on this channel for ideas. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more ways on how to hack your degree. Good luck. You've got this.